and today I've got a Timu mystery box. Oh. Um, hopefully nothing inside of it is breakable. I'm not actually sure if Timu sells proper mystery boxes. I've never looked into that. But now that I'm filming this video, I'm gonna look into that. Uh, today is a Timu mystery box, but it is also a swap with my very good friend here on YouTube, the Cheap Chick. She normally does a Timu haul every single week on Monday. She calls it Timu Monday. The Cheap Chick, Melissa, is who actually got me into shop shopping on Timu and ever since I've been doing Timu hauls you guys I've fallen down a rabbit hole um I feel like every single week Timu just gets more and more and more items and I actually have another Timu haul coming up for you guys very very soon so this is a big giant box and I'm really excited to see what's gonna be inside we had no rules other than there was like a $50 spending limit I'm not sure if she put some extra items in here or not sometimes we put extras in the boxes sometimes we don't don't, so I don't 100% know what's in here. You know what, maybe I should just slice open the box. Maybe I should just do that. I found scissors and I also found this. OG Swamp Fam. Do you remember who this is? I'm just now realizing like I didn't put any extra items in her box this time, uh, but I did send her like a random box like a month ago. It had a pencil inside of it. I keep meaning to like do unboxings with like a GoPro strapped to my head. I feel like that would be like super fun so you guys can see me opening the box. That's what it would look like. Everything happens for a reason. Spooky. Hey, I may have gone over the $50 limit. Whoops, lol. First layer is gifts and Timu items are in Timu bags. So exciting. I hope you love it all. Love Melissa. You guys, she is on the quest to get 100,000 subscribers. And I think she's pretty close, but we have bubble wrap. I'm glad I didn't have like an open candle back there. You guys, also, I'm addicted to the ocean water. The Sonic, you pour it in your water and it turns your normal healthy water into blue, delicious crap. Um, sippy sippy. <sighs> All right, ew, <gasps> ooh, I like these. Ooh, I really do like these, okay. Everything happens for a reason. Why is that quote like spooky to me? <gasps> um, but I do love these. Look at these. Okay, orange house. Where is that? I don't know. Orange, say less. Uh, swimming, the blue sky. I like beach. Okay. I love these things. Um, I'm not sure if she got these from Timu, but um, I actually have an upcoming Timu haul where I feature items like this, except for their stickers. These are, I wonder if these were sold as like aesthetic, like you know how people like put these on their wall? They like make a collage, you pick a color you like, and can anyone translate that? Um, and then you get a pack of cards. Oh, oranges. You know, a pack of cards like so. These feel like really high quality. Oh, we've got some larger ones. Do you see what I'm saying? I bet this was a set. If she got these from Timu, these are like shockingly good quality. Orange juice, the only constant in the world is always changing. Is the fate of sorrow or the pain of reincarnation? Does that quote make you think of orange juice? Ew, I really like that. These are beautiful pictures. Is that a porta potty? Guys, we got Leatherface, everybody's favorite little buddy. Hello, goodbye, Leatherface. Oh, he's, he looks like shockingly pleasant for what he gets up to. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. <gasps> I saw her um, unbox these in a Timu video and I, Oh my God, I'm so excited. Y'all, I was gonna put some press on nails on um, and I'm glad I did it because look at these gloves. Oh my God, they've got nails. This is like, uh, yes, I'm touching you. Oh wait, you know what? I need to do like, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna cleanse your auras. They go like that, you know, and then they go, oh yes. Ugh. Ooh. Is that doing anything? Is that relaxing you? Ah, probably not. Vogue. Um, oh my god, yes! Okay, 
Um, these were things that I specifically asked for. I cannot remember what a video I saw her unbox these, but oh my god, she was gonna um sell them at the flea market. Oh my god, you guys, I'm having flashbacks years and years and years ago. This was the top toy, the top toy. I can't remember if I paid more than retail. Hello, um. I can't remember if I paid more than retail for these things, but I would not be surprised if I did because I used to review like the top requested Christmas item every single year. And you guys, if I could not find it at Target or whatever, um, I would buy it from an upseller. And these were the fingerlings. Do you remember? You're supposed to like put them on your finger and then they, they do that. I just like little robot things like this, you know? Um, so these, I never, I never saw these like little panda bears, but they're so cute. Um, this was really similar to the one I had. I'm pretty sure this was the OG fingerling. Um, and it was a cute little monkey, but mine was not glittery. Is this gonna bother you guys? If I do this for the rest of the video. Um, we also have this. Is it a mouse? Oh, it's a cat. Ooh, I love it. Look at that. Doesn't that make you feel inner peace, harmony? All right, you guys, we're almost done with the extra items. And oh my God, you guys, this had to be an extra item too. Look at this. I had this when I was a kid. Okay. And I was obsessed very obsessed um i feel like when i was a kid and i had this i thought i was mowing the lawn i would like do this in the grass and i really thought i was doing something it's the little pop pop machine do you guys know what i mean wait i need a, i need a hard surface wonderful life um look at this oh wait okay okay it's not focusing hello hello oh my god i love it Y'all, I feel like this is world's smallest and I wonder where she got this from because I don't remember her doing a world's smallest video, but maybe I missed it. All right, you guys, it looks like we have, I think this is a Timu item because <gasps> there's a piece of my hair on these gloves. Um, Okay, okay, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like maybe somebody's gonna not like this if I do this for the rest of the video, okay. I've got my skin back. This was the one last item that was kind of floating free in here. I'm not sure if this is like an extra item or if it's part of the haul. Um, she always writes like the price of everything she gets, like usually on the packaging. I wish I was like that organized, honestly. Everything I give everyone is just chaotic. Um, so look at this, you guys. Uh, I feel like I want to start making these like miniature shopping videos that I've seen on YouTube. Have you guys seen those? It's like people go into the store with like mini brands and mini items like this mini rolling pin. And then they're like, I'm going shopping today for a rolling pin. And then they like plant it in the store and like pick it up like it's a miniature rolling pin for sale. Do you know what I mean? If not, that whole tale was quite bizarre. All right, you guys, now we're on to the clearly... Oh, they're in clear bags. The clearly Timu items. Yes. Ah. I'm gonna get a little bit closer to the camera because oftentimes I'm concerned about what is in focus. And I'm hoping it's me. Am I in focus? I don't know, you guys. I keep meaning to not film at night because I feel like sometimes the lighting is just, it, it gets weird. Almost as weird as me. Um, all right, you guys, what's in this Timu bag? Let's find out. It looks like we have a lot of stuff. You'd be surprised how much things you can get for $50. Oh, it's the mini sprawling. Um, is this an actual shilling item? It was $1.98. So shilling is a company whose products I talk about quite a bit on my second channel, Banana Peppers, where I do a lot of like the relaxing kind of like, let's test out the satisfying things. And shilling makes like the neato balls and stuff. So this is, I thought it was called a slinky, 
but I guess now it's called the many sprawing and very sprawingy it is. Did you ever do that thing with like your friends and you would be like, hi, and it was like this? Or was that with two tin cans and a string? And now you know how ancient I am. What is this? Oh, it's a human hand. How much for the human hand? $4.58. Didn't know you could buy them so cheap. Um, you guys, I'm pretty sure this is Thing. And this is, oh, oh. It smells like Halloween. Um, it's a Thing, you guys. And I shouldn't be so, you know, risky with my hair today because my hair is held together by two bobby pins. So yeah, you could go like that or maybe like on your shoulder, you know? He doesn't want to stay there. I keep seeing this blue thing. Oh my God, you guys, this is so hilarious because literally I just got these for myself from Timu, but I picked the purple hair version. Oh, and the faces are actually a little bit different as well. Oh my God. You guys know I love creepy dolls, doll heads. When I saw doll head earrings on Timu, I was so excited. I probably should have looked at how much these were. $2.98. Like that is the one thing about Timu is if you see something you like, you gotta move fast because things sell out all the time and then you don't have like as much information about the product as you once did. Guys, I'm hoping and praying that this video is in focus. You would think I'd be able to tell, but my eyelashes are in fact so massive <laughs> that sight um, is now the secondary function of my eyeballs today. But look at that. Ooh. Yes, I'm ready for a putty. I love them. They're adorable. They are like a little bit heavy. So if you have like more sensitive ears, I would probably say these are like something maybe more for like photographs or something than wearing all day, which I feel like that's kind of like a whole thing that people probably consider. Like nowadays, like just like you put it on for social media and then you take it off. Um, oh my God. Yes. This is so funny. Was this in my last Timu hurl? I don't remember. You guys, we actually were shopping for the Timu haul, like the Timu swap we were gonna do together like a long time ago. Yeah, I think she said she saw in my Timu haul where I did get these Rubik's Cube earrings. Um, and I was like, oh, this is amazing that I have a second pair because I was kind of conflicted if I wanted to like leave my Rubik's Cube earrings looking solved or unsolved. So now I feel like I can have a set that I leave solved and a set that I like jumble up. They are actually solvable to the best of my knowledge, $1.52. So yeah, I really actually like these. I'm pretty sure I wore them in a TikTok already as well. I really love the big funky earrings and I feel like because they are like so inexpensive, you know, um, it's kind of just perfect if you want it for like a party or like a costume or something. All right, 109. Ooh, we have some really awesome skeleton hand earrings. Guys, I actually have like my skeleton earring in today. But look at these. Can you even see them? You guys, I have so many earrings in already. Ah, these are actually like really lightweight. And I feel like these like little ring earrings, oopsie. I feel like these little ring earrings are so good as well if you're like me. And like, unfortunately throughout my life, like I used to be able to wear like cheap jewelry or like however fake jewelry. I don't know how we'd call it, but I used to be able to wear it all the time when I was a kid. And now like I cannot wear cheap earrings at all. Sometimes I have sensitivity to certain necklaces as well. It's like I'm getting like more sensitive the older that I get. Oh my God, you guys, we have $1.18 for more funky earrings. Guys, I'm kind of inspired like Maybe I want to make like little videos like testing out like 10 pairs of cheap earrings or something um, because there are so many funky ones. Like I'm missing out on these, I feel like, because um, I haven't seen these yet. Look, I'm just going to put one in, but oh my God, 
that's so cute i feel like especially like from far away oh my god look it says i love friend can you guys read that it's like engraved in there i was like oh i wonder if it says anything i feel like once again like from far away it kind of looks like is that a little cassette type in your air or are you just happy to see me um so here is another thing wrapped up two dollars i don't know what this is it almost looks like a goose is it a goose it's a oh my god you guys is this from something like my nightmares i love that oh i thought it was a two-headed goose it's a three-headed goose keychain you guys i love this y'all know how much i love just totally weird totally weird random stuff is this mythological should i know three-headed goose should i know what you are um all right you guys Ooh. okay this is something that i don't know what it is i thought it was scratch art but then on the other side it looks like there's a picture already oh my god okay so this was only 38 cents but it does have a stick in there you guys if it's like that scratch paper i'm gonna hold on to it and do a spirograph with it you guys what what on earth it already has like an elephant in it and then is this like paint where you can paint this design you guys i'm trying to understand i kind of like like how it looks already so i'm probably just gonna use it as a bookmark and do nothing with it but i keep wanting to do a spirograph with this like black scratch paper oh my god is this oh oh my god is this a gag no it says scare dog man girl this will scare me um it's a pregnancy test but it's like a fake one. Oh my god okay so <laughs> i have always been like wondering what these this is like old school youtube i feel like people used to do these like prank videos all the time okay so we have to see what this looks like colloidal gold rapid screen test oh my god wait what is that Ooh, it comes with silica gel packet everything about this is like terrifying so you just like oh my god okay i have to get water we're gonna see what happens you can just like put it in water gatorade sonic ocean water we've got tap water in a tiny cup um let's just see like how fast this changes okay we are fully donked now look maybe nothing's gonna happen oh there it goes there it goes there it goes whoa oh my gosh okay look at that what's happening oh my god yeah look it's like developing and hopefully focusing okay we're gonna put this little tinkle cup away it's not it's not tinkle it like darkens like pretty quickly oh my god onward to something i like fleshy eyeballs I have honestly always wanted one of these and I've never had one. $2.69 for these fleshy eye cubes. I'm sure you guys have seen these before, like makeup, people do makeup on them. I have always wanted to try them, but I never have because I wonder how easily or not easily they like stain. I feel like that's what's always stopped me from getting them before was like i felt like i could only use it once but hey it's two dollars so um oh my god you guys look at look at how that looks now oh my god but look it's a creepy baby is this a keychain two dollars and 48 cents oh okay i wonder no i bet she picked it because it's a bunny i was like looking on the box and i was like okay i wonder if you just get a random one from timu these kind of remind me of a mystery thing we unboxed on banana peppers like a million years ago because the costumes were the same it was like this weird baby doll you hatched out of an egg and you had to take like water and make its eyes like wake up like you would rub the eyes off of the doll you guys this is pretty funny pretty creepy um i'm probably gonna turn it into a keychain it's not a keychain now but i bet if i take its head off and put a keychain ring on it 
it'll be a keychain then. It has cute little bunny ears. It's a baby. Um, but it kind of moves like an action figure, which is pretty, oh my God, is it sticking its tongue out at me? That's rude. Oh my God, this is so funny. I feel like she knows me so well. Um, I got this and I think I did this on, once again, my second channel, Banana Peppers. I got this for um, like, thinking if I was gonna be journaling or like doing some kind of stationary stuff in bed. It reminds me of the Pixar lamp. Look at how cute this is, you guys. It really works. And this is actually really super bright. Like I feel like it would make a good reading lamp. You can actually like use this little clip and like just clip it on a book or something. And the last thing in envelope number one is glass bottle transparent stickers. Look at that. Um, a dollar and 38 cents. I feel like this will be so cool for um, my scrapbook junk journal thing whatever I'm doing right now. Right now I've just been doing like a planner. I wanna get back into junk journaling, but I feel like I kinda started throwing away a lot of junk instead of like keeping it. Look at this though. This would be so cool to use like in my, I wonder if I know where that is. My black paper journal that I use a lot. Anyway, I feel like it'd be so cool to put like a picture or maybe like something you cut out from a magazine and then you could, put this sticker over it, like on black paper. And that would be so cool. Like you could maybe cut flowers out or even like go pick flowers. And like, you could look like you have like a jar of flowers. You know what I mean? I think she definitely won this challenge. I feel like she was able to get like more cool stuff. You guys, I don't even remember what I sent cause I sent my box off a before I went on vacation. So to me now that feels like a lifetime ago. All right, you guys, we've got a doll body. Oh, there's her head. Um, ooh, this is a pretty doll, $3.08. I don't know why, like I'm looking at this and immediately I'm thinking, this would make a great headband. Like how? Get out. Wow. This is actually like a very pretty doll. Look at her eyes. The eyes almost feel glass-like. Um, the body is like super cheap. I think I've seen these before advertised as ball jointed dolls. So, you know, don't be surprised for like $3. Like the quality of the body is like, you know, it's like a Barbie that you would maybe get from like the dollar store or something like the body. But like, I feel like the face and the hair is like so pretty. Like, I swear this looks like more hair than you get on like a normal Barbie doll. And I like the face. Ooh. And she has like just pierced ears. Um, so yeah, overall, this is actually like a really pretty doll, I feel like, for like $3. Is this a coffin? It is. Dracula. Oh, $10.69. So this is the most expensive item. This is really cute. And it has straps. Okay, um, let me like fully stuff it with paper so that it gets a really nice shape to it and you guys can see like, what it really looks like. And I feel like that's maybe like an obvious life hack, but anytime I get like any kind of clear bag or any kind of bag like this, like from AliExpress or Timu or wherever, like sometimes if they come a little like scrumpled up or whatever, if you stuff it, stuff it with paper for like two weeks, it like holds that new shape. You guys, I'm actually like impressed by the quality of this. I have to be honest, normally I don't don't like like coffin shaped kind of things. I know it's funny because I'm graveyard girl. Uh, but this is like, this just says Dracula to me, you know? So I like this one. A couple little items left. Oh my God. Is this a PP portable thing? Oh, was the theme P? Look at this. It is a portable P funnel. Say that five times fast. Um, 68 cents. You know, you just put this in the region and you can tinkle standing up on the go, however you wanna tinkle. 
this tinkle funnel is here for you. I would probably use this like to fill up bottles or something like a funnel, you know, um, maybe not so much for pee pee. Um, all right, you guys, uh, these are tiny little playing cards, I think. Uh, they look like tiny little playing cards. 98 cents. Let's see. Are they? Yes, they do just say, like, I, I think I'm going to open it and it's going to be like a prank, like a, a snake comes out or something. Um, nope, just playing cards. <laughs> but I definitely like, like, the prank vibe. Oh my god! You guys, $1.28 for two of these things? These are so cute. And honestly, they're perfect for putting fake eyelashes in. They have these. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. I did break it, but I can fix it. They're like little rolling um, luggage on wheels. Oh, these kind of have like a locking function. Anyway, they're great for traveling with fake eyelashes. I feel like they are really cute. I love that there's like a purple one. There's one with a purple handle and one with a black handle. Very, very cute. And I always love when these like actually have like rolling wheels. So yeah, I know Glamnetic did this once. I'm pretty sure another false eyelash brand did this as well, where the packaging was like little rolling luggages. You guys, I feel like this was an amazing mystery box. I loved like all of the fun, wacky, random, like trick and prank kind of items. I feel like that's like the perfect vibe for like a mystery box. I feel like everything in here is like really like cute and usable. Ooh, sippy sippy. You guys, I have a headache. That is it for me today. Let me know, should we do another swap in the future? And if so, what kind of things should we swap? We've done like um, a Dollar Tree swap. I almost said Dollar Tree swap. Uh, Dollar Tree swap, um, like junk. What's in our junk drawer? Timu. Did we do like a Wish one? I think we did like Wish versus AliExpress, something like that. We've done a lot of fun swaps in the past. So let me know. Anyway, you guys, be sure and click the first link in the info box down below. Uh, check out her video, the things that I sent her. And don't forget, give her a subscribe. Help her on her way to 100,000 subscribers. And if you guys are not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below and subscribe to me. Become a member of the Swamp family and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!